That's not too bad. Not too bad. Okay, before we get started, let me remind everyone to please turn off your cell phones during news conferences. Additionally, flash photography is not permitted. Welcome to Stanford's press conference. Stanford's sports information contact is Wilder Treadway. Joining us on the podium are head coach Tara Vanderveer and student athletes Fran Belibi and Lexi Hull. Coach Vanderveer, would you like to make an opening statement? Uh, I think that um, I just want to congratulate Montana State on uh, getting into the NCAA and her uh, Trisha's team, uh, I thought played really hard. Um, and our team had to respond, and I thought we did. Uh, especially our defense was really good, and Fran's dunk really made it exciting. Thank you, Coach. We'll now take questions for the student athletes first. As a reminder, please state your name and affiliation at the beginning of your question, and please limit yourself to one question and at most one follow-up. If you're on the Zoom call, please use the raise hand function, and I will call on you if time permits. Uh, ben Parker, CardinalSportsReport.com. I, I can get to ask this one, I guess. Uh, Fran, just talk about the dunk. What did you see? And, um, you know, yeah, just kind of walk us through that moment for, you, for us. Yeah, um, I think our coaches did a great job of preparing us for this game. We knew that uh, their post players like to shoot, so I was just trying to recover back. I got the block, which was cool. Um, and then I was kind of dribbling down, and I kind of like looked over to see like who was there and where, where she was. Um, and then I got past the three-point line, and I just kind of went for it, so it worked out. <laughs> okay. All right, Fran, follow up on that one. Um, you got the afro going on, so Dr. J. White. Um, what was the feeling like? You've dunked at Haas Pavilion, you've dunked over at Pauley Pavilion, and now you finally dunk here at home during the tournament. So what does that feel like? I mean, I, I think we were kind of talking, this one I think was the coolest one, just to be able to um, be here at Maples. I know I've dunked at Maples multiple times um, in warm-up, as I'm sure you've seen. Um, but to be able to do it in a game and to have all those fans with us and just to hear the crowd for, it was like a really long time. <laughs> it was like 30 seconds, that's a long time to be cheering. Um, and to just hear how loud it was in there, that was, that was definitely a highlight. This is for either of you, Kate Rooney with Cron Thorn, San Francisco. Um, congratulations on the win. How did it set the tone for you guys for, you know, maybe making a run in this tournament to be able to get out there and stick to kind of the hallmarks of your game that you've played with all season? I think more than anything, we're just excited to be playing and playing with each other. And um, I think at the beginning of the game, you kind of saw that we, we got going quickly. Um, I think that made us feel comfortable in this tournament. I know a lot of people on the team, this is their first real tournament. Um, so. I think everyone's just getting comfortable and playing within themselves, and I think this was a, a good day for us. Everyone got some time out there and, and to kind of feel it out for themselves, but super proud of Fran. I know um, we, we were so hyped for her, so yeah. Uh, this is for Fran, Scott Osler of the Chronicle. Um, the fans went crazy, obviously, but your team went crazier. You, <laughs> your dunks seem to have that inspiring effect. Yeah, that's, that's it's really funny because I, I dunk all the time, and I think like when I look back at pictures, everyone is still just as excited as if it was their first time seeing it. Um, so it's, I think, really cool to see that on their faces. And um, they've been getting on me all year about not dunking so far. The freshmen have been like, we, we came here for this, so where, where is it? Um, so it was really cool to get it and to make it happen and then to just get engulfed. It, I felt really loved, so there's that for sure. Lexi, I think in the moment you were in the game when she dunked, just what was your reaction to it? Obviously, you're still trying to play, but just what was your sort of comprehension as she was doing it and then afterwards? Yeah, I was uh, running right behind her, and it's always like, we see a potential lane, and we're always like, come on, in the back of my head, I'm like, do it, do it, do it, do it. And then when she did it, I was so excited. Um, I think, like, thinking back on plays, you know, people don't remember, oh, that was a really cool three-point shot, or that was, like, a great drive. People remember the dunks, and I remember every single one of Fran's, and so to be able to be right there for that one was super cool and definitely memory I'll have forever. Just a reminder to please state your name and affiliation at the beginning of the questions. Thank you. Well, I, I'm Harold Gutman with the San Jose Mercury News. Fran, I guess it wasn't just the dunk, right? It was, the, you know, you, had, you led the game with 13 rebounds, and even the thing that precipitate, precipitated the dunk was a block shot that you had. Just uh, How did you feel like you played all around tonight? I mean, T-Dog? 
<laughs> what do you think? I had, a look, I had a couple mishaps on defense, but overall we're just trying to, <laughs> to build and, um, and to just keep growing. Tara told us before the game that, that we're always trying to get better. We don't want to play tomorrow like we played today. We're trying to be better tomorrow than we were today. Um, so I, I had a couple cool things happen, but there's definitely a lot of things to work on, and I know as a team we're, we're all going to keep working on them. Victor Flores, Four Six Sports. Um, Tara, I had just a question for you. Um, what was um, the biggest kind of thing you were focusing on with Montana State going going into the game? Well, we we wanted to establish ourselves at the defensive end, and I think we did that in the first quarter. Um, and then, you know, really just make sure that we were um, playing basketball that will help us continue to play in this tournament. Taking care of the basketball, which uh, I was disappointed with some of our turnovers. But, um, you know, working hard on defense, um, rebounding, and Fran did a great job on the glass getting a double-double. Um, and, you know, the fact that we could play everyone and, you know, in the tournament you want to have people excited and ready. Also, um, you know, not having anyone get hurt is a major thing. So we're really, you know, excited to be going into Sunday's game uh, healthy and um, ev everyone ready to contribute. As a reminder, we're still doing questions for the student-athletes. We'll do coach after. Yeah, uh, Ben Parker, Carnal Sports. Sorry, Ben Parker, Carnal Sports Sports .com here again with the players. Um, just talk about getting a shutout in the first quarter. Um, that's a tough thing to do. Um, so just talk about what allowed you guys to get that shutout, and as it was kind of getting close to a shutout, was there, was that kind of a, a goal you guys? Hey, be cool to get that. I think in the middle of the quarter. Um, not necessarily something we were like, oh, we can do this this quarter, but just to take every possession seriously. And our coaches did a great job preparing us for tonight. Um, and so we kind of knew going in what we thought that they were going to do and to be able to execute on defense um, what we practiced this past couple weeks. Um, it felt good. And I think it just made us, like I said, more comfortable and into the game um, coming out like that. For both of you, uh, Matthew Walter from the Next Hoops. For both of you, can you talk about, Lexi, it's your first time playing at home in the tournament since your freshman year, Fran. It's your first time, period. Just what that, getting that opportunity to play in front of your Fran at home in the NCAA tournament, what's that like and how excited would you guys be able to do that again? I, I love it. I love playing in Maples and to think about this is the last two games that I'll ever play in Maples, it's super special to be able to be here playing in front of friends, family that have come down. Um, and it's, it's crazy because it's kind of like full circle, start here, end here. And um, just super thankful for the fans that came out tonight. It was seemed extremely packed, extremely loud. We heard it when Fran dunked especially. Um, but yeah, we're super thankful for the fans here. Yeah, I mean, to echo what Lexi said, I obviously this is my first time. And we've been joking, like, I have no idea what's going on <laughs> on campus. Like, it, I've never been a part of something like this. And even last year, our first, our, even in our first tournament, we had very limited fans. Um, so to be able to play at Maples and, like Lexi said, to see the, the gym packed and to have so many fans behind us, it's, it's definitely something I'll cherish and something we, we were really excited to have the opportunity for. And we're excited to, to keep going with it for one more game. Hi, ladies. Janie McCauley from Associated Press. Lexi, have you heard the freshman um, razzing Fran? Like, okay, we came here to see you dunk. Would you? <laughs> what, how's that been? I mean, what, is it once a week, once a day? It's all the opportunities where she's on a lane and it's open. We're like, why haven't you done? It's not just the freshman. It's everyone. <laughs> um, and we we see it in warm ups, but we want to see it every game. I mean. Why yeah, doesn't she do that every game? Yeah, but um, no, it's it's kind of just a running joke for everyone. We'll do one question on Zoom for the student athletes. Lindsay, you can unmute yourself and ask your question. Hey, ladies, it's Lindsay Schnell from USA Today. Can you hear me? Yep. Perfect. So, Fran, I know that in the past you've talked about when you have wanted to dunk maybe sometimes, and you just didn't feel like the timing was right, like didn't have a far, weren't out far enough ahead or whatever. You looked really determined from the second that you blocked her shot. Are you telling the truth when you say you didn't decide to dunk until you got past the three point line? Cause you looked pretty bound and determined <laughs> way before half court. Well, I was, I was just, I don't know. I like I, when it's happening, I'm not usually like, Oh my God, I'm going to dunk right now. Except for one. 
Um, on this one, it, there, I think there are like some outside factors in regards to like how open I am, um, the time and score situation. Um, but yeah, this one felt good. And I just was watching Lexi get a bunch of steals and goes. So I figured I'd channel her. So I went up for it. <laughs> Thank you, Fran and Lexi. You can head back to the locker room. Thank you. Good job, you guys. Thanks, Thanks. Thanks to you. Dog. Thank you. All right, Fran. Now we will take questions for Coach Vanderveer. And as a reminder, please state your name and affiliation at the beginning of your question. Okay, Michael Robertson, African American athlete. All right, so Tara, you get out to a 20 0 lead. And earlier, the game before you guys, uh, that's what Kansas got out to a 10 0 lead, and the team came back. So were you surprised how you guys dominated so early? Well, you know, we talked about the fact that that had happened, and we really uh, it's really important for our team not to think the game is over in the first three or four minutes of the game. But, um, you know, again, going kind of staying, staying focused and really working hard defensively. Um, they had some good looks that, you know, some of the shots did, didn't go down for them. But, um, I don't think I've ever coached a quarter where someone didn't score. Um, but I think it's really important for our team to come out and, um, you know, put the hammer down early, and we did. But, um, you know, and then, it, then we need to continue it through the 40 minutes. So I, I'm just really, um, you know, different people came in and helped. Um, again, I'm really excited about the number of people that were able to contribute. And going forward, I think that will be something really important for us. Tom Wiley with MontanaSports.com. I saw after the game you had a moment to, to chat with Cola Bad Bear uh, of Montana State. What, what did you guys talk about? Well, uh, one of my friends is uh, a professor and uh, runs a tribal uh, teacher's college um, up in Montana. And I knew where she was from. And they'd, they're all, I know a lot of people were watching her. And, you know, just when you have uh, someone, she came from prior and uh, she's a crow and, you know, just to let her know that, um, you know, it was, it was great that she was getting a degree and I just wanted to let her know that people back there were cheering for her and she was, uh, it was fun to talk to her. Uh, she's, she's a very, very nice young lady. Hi Tara, Janie McCauley from AP. Uh, did, you, did you like how Fran kind of mentioned that she takes into account the, the situation, the score, the t I mean, she uses her mm -hmm. head to make the decision on whether to try for a dunk. And also, did you get a <laughs> kick out of hearing everybody all season long saying, Fran, you got to do it, you got to do it, and then for her to do it at Maples? You know, I mean, it, it's two points. And it, I know it, it was fun for the crowd because, you know, the, the game maybe was a little, you know, a little bit out of hand at that point. Um, maybe not too much, but... Um, you know, it's exciting. It, it, um, I, I'm glad that she can do that. And usually she goes in the other way. So I wasn't sure she really was going to dunk. She usually goes from left to right, coming in this way. And that's how she does it in the warm-up. So seeing her going that way, that she's expanded her game. Um, but I did remind her that it's, it's two points. And the next play down, there's a girl that got a layup. And it was her girl. So I'm like, come on, Fran. <laughs> so, um, But, you know, uh, she's really... Um, it, it, it adds some excitement, and uh, she had a great game rebounding. Um, but, you know, I'm kind of uh, – I'm my teller team, I'm kind of a greedy sucker. You know, like I, I, I don't want any turnovers. Um, I mean, like our defense was great, but we want to take care of the ball better. Um, and it's just, uh, you know, get better every game. But I'm really happy for her, and the, and the, and the team was crazy in the locker room for her. Tara, Kate Rooney from Crown 4 Sports. Um, just wanted to follow up on your challenge yesterday. Wondering if you've heard from any other coaches or anyone yeah. who's agreed to match. And also, if you found out how much you owe so far, can you give us an updated tally? <laughs> so the, the challenge is uh, $10 for every three-point shot. And some people are making me pay. I, I just looked at our team. And our, our team is, um, so for today's game, was $130. Um, is that Fran doing that? <laughs> um, or Hannah jump shooting lights out. But, um, you know, I have heard from several coaches and uh, set of reporters and people that uh, men's coaches from up in Portland, Pac-12, uh, uh, Randy Bennett at uh, St. Mary's, um, you know, also, um, you know, uh, Nell Fortner, 
uh, fans, coaches, uh, people, reporters just are excited. And, you know, I think everyone, we're, we're, we're loving the NCAA tournament. We're loving March Madness. But um, to think that maybe we could just make a difference for some people would be great. And thanks for bringing that up. Hey, Tara, Matthew Walter, the next hoop. So her hoop stats is actually tracking it. So through 18 games, you owe $2,300, just to let you know. Okay, uh, <laughs> Bernard. <laughs> uh, secondly, I wanted to ask, your team is so well known for your offense, but to start off the way you did defensively, mm. holding the team to no points, you, just, you guys really clamped down early on. What does that say about this team going forward through the rest of the tournament? Well, you know, we've, we've really, um, I think our defense has really stepped up in the Pac-12 tournament and, in the, and obviously today. Uh, I think, you know, every, every round you just get challenged more and we'll, we'll be very challenged by Kansas. Um, they have a lot of weapons. Uh, you know, they're bigger, obviously. Um, you know, they, uh, they, they shoot the three ball well. So uh, our defense is always going to be challenged, but our, our defensive tone is set by um, Lacey, Lexi, and Anna Wilson. Those three uh, get after it defensively. And usually, like in practice, if those three are together, that team will win in practice. So, um, you know, and I, I think everyone's defense has, has been improving. So that's um, – I'm proud of that, and we're, you know, we're, we're working hard to keep improving our defense. Uh, hey, Tara, over here. Uh, ben Parker, CardinalSportsReport.com. Yeah, it's all good. So I just wanted to know your thoughts on the first quarter, getting that shutout. Just how important is it for you guys to kind of set the tone – and you know, mm -hmm. you know, pounce on a team quickly and early like that. How important is that for you? Guys? I think it's really important. Uh, I think it was really important, and I was really excited that we did that. Um, you know, that's what. If you're a number one seed, if you let a team hang around, anything can happen. And I, I told our team that before the game. I just said, you know, Kentucky could never imagine that they would have lost us. You know, St. Peter's. I mean, it's like you you can't let a team hang around. So jump right on them. And I was excited that we did that. Scott Osler, The Chronicle. Hi, Hi, Scott. How are you? Great. Um, these people you're hearing from, Randy and these other coaches, mm. are they just saying, way to go, Tara, or are they volunteering to kick in? No, they're volunteering to kick in. Um, uh, Lindsay Schnell, who was just on for a question, had uh, asked different men's coaches they'd heard about. Um, she brought up the challenge, and um, so they, you know, they sent me their phone number, and they kind of want to know what, what to do, so I'm going to tell them. Uh, no, no, it's, it's not collecting any money. Um, it's uh, it's kind of waiting for the end of the tournament, and I'm waiting for the end of the women's tournament. Some people are just going with Stanford. Some people are going a dollar. Some people are going a nickel, uh, whatever. Um, but I think it's just uh, it's getting some traction um, just to say, hey, you know, we're, we're so thankful for what we have and the ability to play. And I coached in Ukraine along with Nell Fortner. And, uh, you know, so we kind of – I, I kind of – thought of it when she was here so but um yeah I know the I mean the, the guys look at their three-point shooting and you know pony up hi Tara Harold Guppin with the San Jose Mercury News uh, you kind of went into this a little bit already with uh, talking about Kansas' size but what, what do you expect on Sunday uh you know I think it's going to be a it's, it's going to be a very challenging game for us so I hope that all the fans that came today can bring their their loud friends back um you know they're um they play in a tough league uh, in the Big 12. Um, they've got uh, inside game, outside game. Uh, they shoot the three ball. Uh, they got down and they don't get – I mean, they're up and then they got down. They don't get discouraged. They keep playing hard. Uh, so we'll be challenged. And we're going to need uh, – I think we're going to need to play better. Um, you know, but for our team to be able to uh, do what we did tonight and th – th this wasn't the A game from everyone on our team. So hopefully, you know, other people will really be able to step up. But it's great that Fran stepped up and Lexi stepped up, Hannah Jump. Uh, you know, but to go where we want to go, we're going to need more Haley. Okay. Uh, Coach uh, Mike Robertson, African-American athlete. Coach, uh, have you heard from any of the ex-players that are giving you guys encouragement, like Kiana or Sonia or anybody mm -hmm. from your championship team? Uh, yes, I have. Uh, Bethany Donovan was here tonight. I saw Bethany. You know, I always hear from uh, – you know, a lot of players, they, they probably, um, you know, some of them are probably sleeping over in Australia with uh, Keon over there, but I'll, I'll hear from Neka and Chanae and uh, Jane Appel. So many players will be following, and, you know, uh, I haven't checked my phone, but 
it'll be blowing up. We'll take one last question back from Lindsay on Zoom. Hey, Tara, Lindsay Schnell, uh, USA Today. I just wondered, you know, the team uh, pretends to faint, evidently, on the bench when Fran dunked. Have you ever thought about joining that celebration, or are you just going to stay your usual stoic self? Well, I, I mean, I'm excited for our team, and, you know, I, I talked to them about, you know, the most important thing is, uh, you know, the enthusiasm they have. So I'm glad, you know, Fran provided a great spark for us. But uh, I was focused on the next play, Lindsay. Thank you, Coach Vanderveer. All right, thank you all very much. A recording of this press conference will be available in the NCAA Digital Media Hub at ncaa.veritone.com. Transcripts are provided by ASAP. will be posted shortly. Thank you for joining us.